Yeah, probably. Wow. We have. I've got a surprise, but I won't I won't actually show it during the show. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Ask Angelica. Hello, Angelica. Hello, Stephen. Be gets. <laughs> it's getting me good, Danka. How is that? Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Would you like to explain where we are this week? Okay. Right. Well, we're going to visit Hamlin. And uh, those of you who've been watching before, we've been visiting a different place in Germany since the beginning of the year in alphabetical order. So far, we've been to Aachen, Bonn, Celle, Donauwörth, Essen, Freiburg, Görlitz. So today we needed a place with H. And as we'd already done Hamburg last year. We have, yes. Um, we're going to Hamlin. But it's Most not... people probably know about the place. Well, yeah, but they don't know it. I mean, the place itself is called Hamel. Hameln, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, that's what it's called in German. So we're going to Hameln. But people notice something else, which we'll discover as we're going along. <laughs> right now, the way, the way this works is that Angelica has chosen the uh, city we're visiting this week and put together 10 sentences about the city. I'm going to read them out and uh, Angelica is going to correct my pronunciation and then we're going to translate each sentence in turn. If you are watching live, welcome if you're watching the replay welcome and you can uh practice along as we go through the sentences as ask angelica visits hamon okay mm -hmm. so phrase one hamon ist eine stadt in niedersachsen yeah well done i don't need to correct it hamon oh, is right. eine stadt in niedersachsen we are doing well so, <laughs> translation number one. Uh, oh, I, I, I forgot. Too late. Well, it was, too late, <laughs> but it was, it was straightforward. Uh, Hamelin, now you might recognise where we are, is a town in Lower Saxony. So, yeah. phrase two, now that we know where we are. I'll slow down a bit. Hamel is bekannt durch die Sage vom Ratfänger von Hameln. Hameln. Hameln ist bekannt durch die Sage vom Rattenfänger von Hameln. Right. Die Sage vom Rattenfänger von Hameln. Right. I bet as soon as people hear this, this in English, they know what it is. Indeed. Uh, Hameln is best known from the story of the rat, rat catcher of Hameln. Well, Rattenfänger means rat catcher, yes, but the story in English is actually called slightly different, and Zaga is a legend. Ah, oh, right, the legend. Yeah, okay. so the legend, but the legend in English is not called the rat catcher. No, it's called the Pied Piper of Hamlin. Exactly. Which brings us to translation. Uh, Hamlin is known from the legend of the Pied Piper from Hamlin, so there's no comparison, because we're not doing... We're not doing a literal translation, are we? Well, the story isn't. It's the story in English is not called. Um, I don't know why. Why it's not called the the rat catcher of Hamlin? It doesn't quite sound the same, is it? No, no, it's not got the same. Well, it's obviously yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, actually, the person was both. He was a pipe piper and he was a rat catcher. So the original German story says Rappenfinger. Whereas the English translation says Pied Piper. Okay. Phrase three. So, laut der Geschichte, 130 Kinder aus Hameln verschwunden. Yeah, I had the sentence first with both numbers together, and I thought, no, I can't do that to Stephen, so I changed it. Thank you. <laughs> 1284 sind laut der Geschichte 130 Kinder aus Hameln verschwunden. Right. So we're going back a bit in time. In 1284, uh, the mm -hmm. story, history says, the story says, 130 children from Hamlin disappeared. 
Ja, laut der Geschichte means according to the story. Right. Okay, so translation is according to the story, 130 children disappeared from Hamlin in 1284. Phrase 4. Das Hamelner Museum hat die größte Rettfinger Sammlung weltweit. weltweit. Mm, das, das, ja, ne, das Hamelner Museum hat die größte Rattenfänger Sammlung weltweit. Ja. Now, the pitch behind me is from uh, Hamelin. I don't know whether it's museum behind me or not. So. Uh, I can just about see the word Playmobil on one of this, uh, so it oh, looks okay. like it's a toy shop. Okay. So the, the one the, just behind you, exactly behind you, it looks like it's a very pretty shop, isn't it? It, it is. looks like it's a toy shop because it's advertising Playmobil. Yeah, they're very tall buildings as well, aren't they? Three, four stories. Beautiful. Mm, beautiful. Fairy tale story, which sort of takes us nicely to the next sentence, but you haven't translated this one yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, thank you. Uh, Hamlin's Museum has the biggest uh, rat catcher collection worldwide. Right. Hamlin Museum has the biggest worldwide collection of rat catcher Sammlung. Ich weiß nicht. Das ist well, so. not, Sammlung is a collection. Um, it's not a rat catcher collection. It is a Pied Piper collection. So everything ah. to do with a fairy tale rather than uh, everything to do with catching rats. Hamlin has the world's largest collection of Pied Piper memorabilia. But it doesn't say that in the translation. Right. Close. <laughs> uh, Hamley Museum has the largest Pied Piper collection in the world. Uh, and just to go back to the sentence, which I'm trying. Uh, okay, sorry, I've missed a beat. Let me go. <laughs> let me go to. Oh, it's okay. We'll get there. Uh, I'm got it. I lost it. Take longer. No. Okay, I'm back on track. Um, how many museums the largest pie paper collection in the world? Okay, phrase five. Mit dieser Symbol. Right, I'm going to read it twice. Okay, once to myself and then once out loud. Mit dieser symbolic figure des Rett. Rattenfingers is Hameln auch Tal der Deutschen Märchenstraße. Mm, mit dieser Symbolfigur des Rattenfängers ist Hameln auch Teil der Deutschen Märchenstraße. Oh. Uh, with the symbolic figure of the Pied Piper, Hameln, Hamelin is also one of Germany's largest markets. No, I've gone no, totally it's not a market. Tile is a part, so it's part okay. of, of the German Märchen of fairy tales. It's a German fairy tale route. Ah, so people can actually go and go around town and got it. It's, so it's a bit longer than round town. The next sentence will tell you a little bit more. The next two yeah. sentences actually. Yeah. So the translation is, with this symbolic figure of the Red Pied Piper, Hamelin is also part of the German fairy tale route. And we do say route because we're in England. We don't say route. Just be exactly. We're in England. We are. <laughs> Die Deutsche Merchenstrasse ist eine tourist, tourist and attraction in Deutschland. Yeah, don't fall for attraction. That's English. Attraktion. Attract die, Deutsche oh. Märchen, <laughs> die Deutsche Märchenstraße ist eine Touristenattraktion in Deutschland. Touristenattraktion. Attraktion, yeah. yeah. Those words always seem to be the worst ones. If you know them from English, you automatically go into English. Right. What do you like to translate? I, um, I sometimes do it as well. No, I'll let you translate it. <laughs> uh, the German... Fairy tale route is is a tourist attraction in Germany. Yeah. Okay, so we've got translation. The official translation is the German fairy tale route is a tourist attraction in Germany. Phrase seven. 
Die 600 Kilometer lange Strecke verläuft von Hanau in Mitteldeutschland bis Bremen im Norden. Ja, die 600 Kilometer lange Strecke verläuft von Hanau in Mitteldeutschland bis Bremen im Norden. So when I said a few moments ago, this was a trip around town, I wasn't quite yeah. right, was I? Yeah, <laughs> no, that's what I said. It's a bit more than that. Right, the 600 uh, kilometer long, which is 180 miles, uh, runs from Hanau in uh, middle Germany, mid Germany, yeah. uh, until, uh, to Bremen in the north. Yeah. So it's, it's quite a distance, 600 kilometers. It is. I don't think you could walk. Well, some people might walk it. Well, it could, yeah, I mean, it's a challenge, isn't it? I mean, it's what? If we say it's 480 miles, then you'd be, that's 16, 17 marathons, eight, well, a lot of marathons. Yes. Okay. And anyway, carrying on. So we've got the, the translation is the 600 kilometer long route runs from Hanau in central Germany to Bremen in the north. Präsent, heute ist der Rettenfänger eine Redewendung. Ja, heute ist der Rattenfänger eine Redewendung. Uh, today the Pied Piper is a... Hmm. I don't know, Angelica. What, what is it? Well, we have two translations. One could be an idiom, but as it's only one word, idioms usually are a sentence. As oh. it's only one word, it's more like a figure of speech. Nope, you got me. Help! What, a figure of speech? Well, I know what a figure of speech is, but I, I don't know the translation. That is the translation. Today, the ah. <laughs> Piper is a figure of speech. Okay, fine. I was flummoxed on that. <laughs> and the next one, so the translation is today the Pied Piper is a figure of speech. So we, yeah, it's, it's part of the everyday language. So, yeah. Well, it, you will find out in a minute why it's a figure of speech, why, where people use the word Rattenfänger. Right. Then, and uh, that will be in, not in this sentence. Well, this sentence is the first part. Okay. Uh, it will be in the second part. Then, I'm a politician, then, Leuten, alle, alle, lie, Dinge verspricht, damit sie im Folgen. Damit mm -hmm. sie im Folgen. Yeah, when a politician, den Leuten, allerlei Dinge verspricht, damit sie im Folgen. I thought I'd be a bit topical here. <laughs> right. When Leute is people, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So when a when a politician of the now yeah, den Leuten verspricht means promises people. Ah, right. Okay. Promise things. When a politician promises things to the people, uh, asking them to follow him. Yeah, that would be a translation. So that they follow him. Yeah. No. Politician first, and uh, translation is when a politician promises people all, all kinds of things. Aladinger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aladinger, uh, all kinds of things. Right. Okay. And last one, nimmt man in einen Rattenfänger. Mm -hmm. Nennt man ihn einen Rattenfänger. They call him a pied. So we say this together. <laughs> they, call, they call him a pied piper. piper. Yes. <laughs> I thought that Brilliant. would that just takes us nicely back from the fairy tale to today's politics. And uh, I'm sure we can all. Doesn't matter which country we live. I'm sure we can all think of one or two politicians who we wouldn't mind calling a rattenfinger. <gasps> Right, let's rewind and go back to the beginning. And uh, in perfect German, of course, Angelica is going to read the sentences in German and I'm going to read them in English. So this is the recap bit. So let's go back to the beginning. And Angelica, it's over to you. 
Hameln ist eine Stadt in Niedersachsen. Hameln is a town in Low Saxony. Hameln ist bekannt durch die Sage vom Rattenfänger von Hameln. Hameln is known from the legend of the Pied Piper of Hameln. Zwölf vierundachtzig sind laut der Geschichte hundertdreißig Kinder aus Hameln verschwunden. Sounds better when you say it. <laughs> Thank you. According to the story, 130 children disappeared from Hamlin in 1284. Your English is pretty good as well, isn't it? Thank you. <laughs> das, das Hamelner Museum hat die größte Rattenfängersammlung weltweit. Translation is, the Hamlin Museum has the largest Pied Piper collection in the world. Mit dieser Symbolfigur des Rattenfängers ist Hameln auch Teil der deutschen Märchenstraße. Märchenstraße. The word learnt. Uh, with this symbolic figure of the Pied Piper, Hameln is also part of the German fairy tale route. Die deutsche Märchenstraße ist eine Touristenattraktion in Deutschland. The German fairy tale route is a tourist attraction in Germany. Die 600 Kilometer lange Strecke verläuft von Hanau in Mitteldeutschland bis Bremen im Norden. The 600 kilometer long route runs from Hanau in central Germany to Bremen in the north. Heute ist der Rattenfänger eine Redewendung. Today the Pied Piper is a figure of speech. Wenn ein Politiker den Leuten allerlei Dinge verspricht, damit sie ihm folgen. Mm -hmm. When a politician promises people all kinds of things to follow him. Nennt man ihn einen Rattenfänger. They call him the Pied Piper or a Pied Piper. Right, mm -hmm. there we are. Where are we going? I, Where oh, are we going? No, I, I just thought going back to the story of the Pied Piper. Surely. Um, when I, I looked up sentences for Hamlin, um, I found out that um, the, the, the legend comes from sort of two incidents that actually happened in Hamlin. Oh, okay. One was there was a rat plague. Mm -hmm. and somebody helped them to get rid of it and the other one was there were a lot of youngsters disappeared and um, there weren't children there were young adults uh -huh. and it sounds of they 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 reckon that they were um enticed away to another place for better work ah so they didn't disappear in a mountain or something like this no. um they were um headhunted yes yeah, so no, you, or anything That happened in England too, uh, where they went looking for employees when they were short and there was no loyalty to the town. They just went and followed the money. <sighs> right. Makes a lot of sense. It does. So next week, we're mm -hmm. next 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 um, session, not in next zwei Wochen. In zwei Wochen, yeah. We'll have a place with I, which that's the next letter in the alphabet. And I don't know where that will be. Angelica, would you like to... That makes two of us. Because <laughs> would you like to close the show? Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed finding a few things, maybe a few new things about Harmon. And uh, we'll see you in two weeks' time. So it's tschüss von mir. Und tschüss von mir. Bis später. <laughs>